Hey, this is Andrew Brown. In this video, we're going to test out um, ECX Connect uh, Exec. This allows us to get into the container so that we can uh, do things, which is extremely uh, useful. So that's what I want to do in uh, this video. In order for this to work, we need to have uh, a few things set. And luckily, we've already done that in our Fargate uh, configuration. So the idea is that in our cluster, it should have uh, this ability enabled, which would be under here. Um, for exec command configuration. So that is turned on. And then in our service file, we need to have this enabled, which we do. So the question is, once that happens, how do we actually establish our connection? Um, well, I believe that we have to install the SSM um, uh, plugin, but we'll look at ESSEC exec. And what I wanna do here is I want to just launch our instance. So I'm gonna go back into our Fargate directory here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just redeploy this container because I didn't delete the task definitions or anything. If, if you don't have them, you'll have to recreate them. And so I'm gonna launch that service and that should work. And while we're waiting for that to launch, which apparently it launches super fast, um, I wanna take a look at uh, the instructions for us to go ahead and uh, utilize this. And so it's saying that we need to install the Sessions Manager plugin uh, for the CLI. So I'm gonna go here and I'm on um, Ubuntu here today. So I'm gonna grab this link here. I'm gonna grab this. And I'm just going to make a, I'll put it in here. It's fine. We'll just place it in here. And I'll just say ECS exec section. This will be for um, installing SM systems manager CLI for AWS CLI on Ubuntu. Okay. So we have that link there. We'll go over to here and it's suggesting we just have to uh, grab this link and then install the package. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste that in. And then we'll go ahead and install that package. Okay, and so with those two installed, um, that part is complete. So we'll go back here. So that's step one. The task role must have the appropriate uh, permissions, it does. The version requirements depend on Fargate. We're using the latest, so it'd be very, very unlikely that we're not using up uh, above platform version 1.4. So when you launch Fargate, you choose um, the platform version. So if we click into here, it might tell us somewhere the platform version. Let's go to update cluster. So yeah, it's not explicitly saying, but I imagine that it has to be nearer than 1.4 because there's no way we're using an old one. Um, so the question is, how do we actually use it? So here it's talking about setting up the um, Test definition, one thing that we didn't do is we didn't set this here. Um, so we should have probably set that uh, in our container definition, but I, I haven't uh, done that. It still should still work. Here we are creating our service. Notice that it has this uh, enable exec command in here, but uh, we have that in our JSON file, so we don't have to worry about that. And so this is the command that should allow us to connect um, to our actual connect to container BNB. And so there's a few things that we are going to need to change here. The first is our cluster name. So I'm gonna go here and just put a hyphen there. And so our container is called app, okay? Our cluster is called this, so we'll grab that here. And our task, is going to be this one here. So I'll click into it and grab the full task here. And just to clean this up a little bit, I'm just gonna bring this over like this. And so supposedly this should work. Hopefully it does, that'd be really nice if it does the first try. And we'll go ahead and enter. And it looks like we're establishing a connection and we are in, so we are now within our container. And so you can exactly see where the files are. So remember when we uh, created that Docker file, which would have been under ECR, I guess, over here. Okay, so remember it said, create a working directory called app. We'll type in uh, PWD to see where we are, PWD. And we're in the app directory. And then we copied over the contents of the files, which is over here, and we can see what we have. So we have Dockerfile, readme, app, and requirements.txt. So pretty straightforward, we'll type in exit. And that's all I really wanted to show you was how could you establish a connection to then debug your application. Because if there was issues, you get in there and you can fiddle around with it, okay? So it's as simple as that. So this one will be for um, ESE exec. And I will see you in the next one, okay?
Uh, well, before we do, I, I guess I should just turn off that uh, that service. And you know, again, I'm going to keep my uh, cluster around. If you don't want to have it around, you can delete it and spin it up for another one. But um, the cluster doesn't cost anything as long as there's nothing in it. So I'm going to keep it around here uh, for other container um, uh, videos. Okay. So see you in the next one. Ciao.